Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the standalone tools in Beersmith 2. All the tools are available here under the Tools menu, and there's two, way to two ways to access them. If you click on any of these elements, it'll actually open up into separate tabs. I'm going to show you in a minute. If you hold down the Shift key while clicking on any of these elements, it'll actually show up in a separate window. So, for example, if I start with the hydrometer and I click on the Shift key, uh, hold the shift key while I'm opening it, it'll actually show in a separate window, and that's useful if you're working with a recipe, for example, and you want to use a standalone tool. But going back to the tools menu, let's walk down the basic ones. We'll start with the water profile tool. This can be used to match different water profiles from around the world. For example, I can choose any base profile, uh, such as maybe my local water is Dallas, Texas, and click on a target profile. For example, I want to target Dortmund, Germany, and click, click on the Calculate Best Editions, and it'll actually calculate the best editions to match the volumes that I entered, as well as the types that I entered to try and match that water exactly. A pretty neat tool. Next, we go on to the Infusion tool. This is for use for all grain brewers to calculate infusion temperatures as well as step temperatures. And of course, a lot of these features are built directly into the recipe calculator, so most of the time you don't need to do this. But if you need to do a quick adjustment to your mash, or you're trying to find out a, a particular strike temperature, how to hit a particular strike temperature, you can, you can walk through and use this tool. Similarly, there's a decoction volume tool for doing decoction calculations for decoction mashes for all grain brewers. Again, you can enter your step temperatures here, the weight of the grain, and so on. And it'll calculate uh, the temperature, uh, I'm sorry, the, the proportion of the mash that you need to, uh, to actually decoct in order to hit your step temperature. There's a mash adjust tool. Uh, this is actually used to make small adjustments to your mash if you're brewing. So for example, if I'm brewing and uh, I say I start in with my initial strike temperature of 150 degrees, I end up a little bit off. Uh, I can use this tool to determine how much water I need to add, either hot water or cold water, in order to achieve my target temperature. There's a yeast starter tool, and again, there's a yeast starter tool integrated with the uh, recipes, but if you want to use a standalone tool, it's right here, and it'll calculate size of starters for liquid yeast, uh, as well as how much, uh, uh, how many grams of, uh, of dry yeast is used and how much water to hydrate it with if you happen to be using dry yeast instead. Uh, so this is very useful for calculating yeast starters, uh, the size of your yeast starter for your batch. There's a hydrometer tool for doing hydrometer temperature adjustments. So, for example, if I'm uh, brewing and I want to measure my post-boil gravity, uh, which is usually working with hot liquid wort, I can enter the temperature and the, the uh, original gravity here, and it'll do the temperature adjustment for me. There's a refractometer tool, which can be used with your refractometer. Uh, most refractometers are, calculated so, are calibrated so they work with sucrose, which is pertegal sugar. Uh, we don't work with sucrose. We work primarily with maltose when we're brewing beer, which is uh, comes from barley. Um, so you actually have to do an adjustment, and that's what this refractometer tool does. It takes your reading off the refractometer and does the adjustment to get your original gravity or fermenting gravity. There's an alcohol and attenuation calculator here that allows you to uh, enter your starting gravity and final gravity, and it'll calculate your original extract, the parent extract, uh, Alcohol by volume, alcohol by weight, and actually calories for the beer. There's a hop bitterness calculator that lets you uh, calculate hop bitterness additions. Again, obviously this is integrated with a recipe designer in Beersmith, but um, if you want to use a standalone tool to just do a quick calculation, you can do it here. There's a hop age tool. Hops, as they get older, do lose their alpha content. And if you're concerned uh, working with an old uh, hop sample that maybe hasn't been stored properly, you can enter the temperature it was stored at, as well as the original starting alpha here, and it'll calculate your final hop alpha, which will allow you to make the adjustment that you need to perhaps add more hops in your recipe. There's a boil-off tool to calculate the amount of boil-off you have from a starting volume uh, and evaporation rate. There's a dilution tool that allows you to dilute your wort after you've uh, made a beer. Let's say you made a high-gravity beer and you want to dilute a portion of it down to a lower-gravity beer with water. Uh, this tells you how to do it. There's also an adjust gravity tool, and this actually goes both ways. Uh, let's say you brewed an entire batch of beer, 
and it came in with the gravity just a little bit low and you want to add some uh, dry malt extract to bring that gravity back up, you can do it here and it'll calculate how much to add. Uh, similarly, you can add water if you want to lower the original gravity of your beer. Uh, so that's a nice tool to work with if you happen to be a little bit off on your gravities. The weight to volume calculator uh, takes a container weight and an empty container weight and determines uh, how much volume you have left in the in the particular container. This is useful for, for example, working with kegs. You can weigh the keg and determine how much volume is left in it. And finally, there's a carbonation tool. And again, this is integrated with the recipe tool uh, separately, but, but the standalone tool lets you do simple carbonation calculations, both kegging as well as uh, table sugar, corn sugar type uh, options. So that's a summary of the overall tools. I'll mention very briefly, there's also a set of unit tools for doing uh, temperature, gravity, pressure, uh, weight units, and volume units. Uh, it'll allow you to do quick unit conversions. And uh, again, you just enter the value and it'll automatically convert it to a variety of different, um, different units for you. So that's an overview of the tools in Beersmith 2. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more about Beersmith 2 or download a free trial copy, you can visit our website at beersmith.com.